the uh, New York Times senior editors and uh, IT staff no longer allow uh, older uh, internet users to uh, see uh, all the articles uh, on the home page in the New York Times online. Um, this is what I see. I have normal vision for someone my age. And, uh, and I'm, this, uh, so this is one problem. Their use of, uh, of uh, eye disease promoting anti-optometry, anti-optical dispensing, light value, low contrast uh, type. And all the uh, words below the headings, there is a whole nother uh, serious uh, access issue. Look at this. Zero contrast type. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven words there that are uh, all but unreadable. Headings are fine. All of this is completely useless. Now, I'm going to go to how the Times looks for people who are able to, who are younger. I can bring it up. Who are able to read a smaller type. I'm going to have to set the phone down for a sec. <coughs> okay, excuse the uh, pause. This is what people see who can read, uh, have their screen set to a small size. Got a whole column on the right side that uh, older people are denied access to. And uh, again, the, uh, the, uh, their use of, uh, of um, non-black, non-high contrast, non-bold type, and so much of the uh, so much of the text is uh, unconscionable. And uh, like stomps on optometry, on optometrists, on optical dispensing, and on opticians, and an ophthalmologist as well who have to deal with it with it um, but to uh, I keep on asking uh, online viewers of the uh, website to uh, subscribe but they uh, they don't allow people to actually see the entire uh, page here I this is too small for me to be to read totally uh, ridiculous graphic design and shows contempt for uh, tens of millions of Americans alone who are like over uh, age 50 and older and tens of millions of boomers and millions of elderly people as well. <laughs>